Sophie here and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite fictional parents. These are just parents from books, so no TV shows, movies or anything like that. These are in no particular order and these aren't necessarily parents whom I agree with their parenting choices. These are just my favourite parents to read about. So first up I've chosen Audrey and Steve Abbott and Charles Vega from the My Sister Lampai series. So starting with Audrey and Steve, these are Olivia's adoptive parents and they are wonderful, wonderful people. They are so lovely to Olivia and they are really funny, uh, especially Steve, he's obsessed with kind of like martial arts, meditation and things like that. They're just, you know, really supportive, really kind parents. And Charles is a little bit hard to talk about. Can't really talk about why I love him without spoiling the series. All I really say is, um, the series starts and all you really know about him is he is Ivy's adoptive father. The twins were separated at birth and both given up to different adoptive families. Um, but you find out more about Charles's backstory as the series goes on and he does make some mistakes at the beginning and does things, you know, you don't really know why you treat people like that. But he has reasons and he does these things because he thinks it's the right thing to do. It doesn't necessarily, but you find out more about him and it turns out to be a pretty great dad in the end. Next I've chosen Stepmama from the Cat Incredible trilogy. She is Cat's stepmother. I really like how Stephanie Burgess played with the evil stepmother trope in these books uh, because at first that is what you think stepmama was going to be, you know, classic evil stepmother like in Cinderella but I think these books kind of play with that expectation, you think that's what it's going to be and there's no big overarching storyline with stepmama or anything but there are little moments throughout the series when I think she shows that she's not all evil. Um, not even a little bit evil really, but yeah, Stepmama is a very interesting character and one of my favourite fictional parents. Next is Natalie Pryor from the Divergent trilogy. This is Triss's mother. And I think the dedication in this book actually shows one of the reasons really why I like Natalie so much. So it says, to my mother, who gave me the moment when Beatrice realises how strong her mother is and wonders how she missed it for so long. And that is kind of... Tris, you know, doesn't appreciate her mother all the time. And I'm not saying Natalie is the perfect mum or anything, because she, as kind of all these parents in the list, you know, makes mistakes and things. You think at first that she's just, you know, she's not really a big part of the story, she's just, you know, just as mum. But she has this whole backstory and it's really interesting and there's a lot more to her than it first seems. And she's very good in navigation. She is, you know, very a very selfless character. Next is Angeline Fowl from the Artemis Fowl series. Angeline is Artemis's mother. Again, can't really talk about why I like Angeline without spoiling the series. Uh, she starts in this book suffering with severe depression and symptoms of bipolar and schizophrenia because her husband is missing, presumed dead. And yeah, I can't really talk about why I like her so much. I am planning to do a spoiler free, not spoiler free, a discussion and review, partly spoiler free, partly spoilery. Uh, of this whole series when I finish rereading it and I might talk about more why I like her then. That's the main reason I really like her is just she deeply loves her family. She loves her husband, she loves her son, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> then we've got a bit of a ridiculous one, Nicholas's dad from Jeremy Strong's My Brother's Famous Bomb series and a few of his other books, kind of like just the book starring Nicholas. Um, his dad is ridiculous, as you can probably tell from the start of my dad's got an alligator. He's just, he just does stupid stuff and he's immature but they're a fun family, a close-knit family. Um, and I like his mum as well, the dynamic of his mum getting kind of angry at the dad but she doesn't stay angry for long. And 
Nicholas getting really exasperated at his parents because they're both quite silly and he's just like really funny to read about. Then kind of the opposite of that is Daryl's parents from the Mallory Tower series, Mr. and Mrs. Rivers. They're prim and proper and you know they send their daughters off to a nice girls boarding school and whenever they come to visit you know they're very respectable to all their teachers and the other parents and things. Mm. But they love, support and respect their daughters and there's a moment, there's a scene in this book, which I won't spoil, but uh, if you've read it you'll know what I'm talking about, with Daryl and Mr. Rivers and he's just very caring and uh, very kind to her and they are very understanding, very loving parents and I like them a lot. And finally, Tyler Bridgman from Boys Don't Cry, Dante and Adam's father. Throughout this book, um, he learns things about being a better dad, but even at the beginning, he's an incredible help and support to Dante, even though he's very disappointed in him. Obviously, he doesn't agree with the choices that Dante's made, but he, throughout the book, he's just very, you know, he's always there for his sons, and just one of my favourite fictional parents. I don't know how well I explained any of those. It's kind of hard to talk about, or I find it hard to talk about, you know, bookish things that I really love. I don't know if I can get across what I truly love about them. But those are my favourite fictional parents. Some of them kind of funny, some of them more serious. Um, but what I've learnt from this video is what I really like um, are parents who love, obviously, their children support them and respect them, who treat them as, you know, other people, not just people to look down on, like, younger children who don't know about the world. Um, and I think in most of these books, the parents do do that. So let me know who your favourite fictional parent is. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and bye!